Today we are looking at this pack of four timers and they come nicely packaged and the colors are awesome. Um, if you have multiple kids, these would be great. Um, they have all your different color needs for the girls, the boys, and then they have just the white in case you want to keep one in your kitchen or if <clears throat> you need one that doesn't stand out, these would be great. They come with little straps so they can hook onto book bags or um, hang from a hook in the kitchen or living room, wherever. These don't only, only have to be in the kitchen. You can use them for school, for tests, um, to let preschoolers know like when time is up. You can use them in the bathtub in case you want to set a timer for a bathtub, a nap, um, just endless possibilities. These timers will work. Um, they are great. They have a countdown and then they also have like a stopwatch type of thing. Um, they have this little uh, part in the back to where they can stand up so you can, so they can stand up so you can see them in the kitchen or let your kids know um, they can watch the clock when they're in like timeout. This would be nice that way they're not wondering when their time's up, they can just watch it. Here's a strong magnet on the back that will hold these up. Here you can see the magnet hanging on my um, microwave well. So the magnet does work. These um, don't come with batteries, so you need AAA batteries to go in there. I've already set one up um, and played around with it some. Uh, when it comes, it is in the off position, so you wanna make sure that you flip the switch and then turn it on. Okay, so there is an option to save the batteries here when you're not using it. Um, you can go ahead and just push start and it sets a timer in case, um, you know, your kids are racing and you want to time them. You could do that if you're um, doing some other stuff, whatever, you can set a timer or you can do the stopwatch and see your time. Um, go ahead and push stop. In order to use the timer, then you would have to reset and you go ahead and push these two buttons. And then if I wanted to set a five minute timeout for my five year old, go ahead and do five and then push start. And it starts counting down. Um, so he is able to see his time. And when he gets out, um, if he starts talking, you can pause it and then restart it again. So here I will show you, we can do seconds and we'll check out what it sounds like when it goes off. So here you can see it is nice and loud and clear. It would be great to have, um, it would be great to have when you are, you know, sitting watching TV and you can't hear your stove timer. This will be able to tell you when dinner is done. Just go ahead and bring it in, put it by you, um, whatever you need. As you saw, when I stopped it, it uh, goes back to four seconds. So say your kid has, um, a five minute timeout each time he gets in trouble. You set the five minute timer, goes off, say, okay, go ahead and play, good job. Um, you know, hour later, he's back in timeout. You can just go ahead and push the start again and it saves your time, <clears throat> saves your time so you don't always have to be pressing in his time. Good features for little kitchen timers. Uh, these are multiple uses, not only kitchen, like I said, um, you can put them wherever you need. Um, I like how these are nice and big. The numbers are big. You are able to see them. It comes in a four pack for a great price. Um, my favorite are just the bright colors. It's, you know, friendly. It kind of makes things a little bit funner, especially if you need to use them for school or um, for children. So these are a great option for kitchen timer, for adults, for kids, anything you need, um, school, kids play, anything.